And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. For me, ask what you can do speaks directly to that sense of wherever you find yourself, be useful. You don't have to wait for people to come and say, you know, here's what we'd like you to do. You're stepping out and asking what you can do. All this will not be finished in the first 100 days. Ask what you can do has been a part of my life since I stood in the snow at John Kennedy's inauguration. But let us begin. I heard him say, ask what you can do, and I joined the Peace Corps. And ever since then, I have been responding to that statement that was probably the crucial turning point of my own coming of age. There's a whole generation of young people who were inspired by Jack Kennedy and the Ask What You Can Do framing. It really did so capture this deep sense of mission. And the Kennedy School began with this vision of making the world a better place. But what together we can do for the freedom of man. The vision was to create a school that serves society's demands for excellence in government. That means a place that attracts the best possible students and provides research that advances knowledge about the topics that we try to address in government and public policy. When we first said, okay, we're putting our flag up and going to be a school, this vision seemed somewhere between ambitious and delusional. I think today, the Kennedy School is regarded as one of the jewels in Harvard's crown. It was the place where students come who have high aspirations and extraordinary capabilities and who want to test themselves against the best. This is the place where more of the leading people who think about contemporary issues in an innovative and constructive way have gathered together to do that. It's a place where you know that every time you turn around, you're going to run into somebody who has something terribly interesting and important to contribute to improving the human condition. There's such an unbelievable energy about the place. One of my favorite spots was actually the forum. At any given time, you'll have someone speaking in the forum who's like a leading authority, a leading politician, a leading person in the private sector or in the government sector. Extending a warm welcome to Secretary Madeleine Albright. Join me in welcoming President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf of Liberia. Please welcome Chris Matthews. Former President Mikhail Gorbachev. I give way reluctantly to Bill Buckley. We're very proud that one of ours has risen so high, Ban Ki Moon. Thank you for coming this evening. Thank you very much. To me, what is the most special about the Kennedy School is just having access to all these people, all who are really driven, really motivated, so really excited about what they do, and it just charge you up. Do you guys have a better answer for the law must be stable but never stand still? I mean, Students at the Kennedy School are, first of all, extremely bright. They're extremely committed. They want not just to understand the world, but to fix it. It's also counter-majoritarian. They are diverse in every possible way, and they're excited by being here. I've learned so much. I think it's probably quite rare to go to a course where every facilitator is as good as the previous one. The levels of learning and the levels of knowledge are superlative. We're going to need to pay developing countries not to... One of the wonderful things about this place is that the students bring such a diverse array of experiences and expertise to the school and it makes it just a very exciting place to think about how the world works and how it can be improved. What is unique about the Kennedy School is that we are not just a policy school. We are primarily a school of leadership. And so it's our balance of public policy and leadership that makes us quite distinctive and also quite attractive to people who are leading in very difficult, challenging positions from around the world. So who bears the risk with foreign investment? To sit together with folks from different backgrounds and read real cases, I found it to be fantastic. You get this tremendous diversity of viewpoint and it helps you to really understand where other people come from and how they think, see things. And it's definitely been incredibly valuable for me. If I can sum it in a few words, I'll say an open mind, an open heart, and an open and challenging world. Because that's, that's how I view the Kennedy School. It's surpassed anything that I could have imagined coming here. It really has been just a platform for me to leap out onto the world with. Whether it's executive education or it's our degree programs, this is a place that inspires every single day. 
It's a place where everybody really does believe in this larger mission, this ask what you can do mission. It's just an extraordinarily exciting place to be. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country.